everyone, 65 Pink Roses here. I've had a lot of positive response on my Tumblr because of a picture I posted of me in my wheelchair. And subsequently I got a lot of questions and comments about my style, my chair, and how to maintain a sense of personal style in a chair without sacrificing function and mobility. So I thought I'd make a video talking about just that. First let me introduce you to my chair. I use a Helio C2. An ultra lightweight folding chair made of carbon fiber. Helio is a Canadian company, and as I'm Canadian, I felt it was a perfect fit. My chair is 14 inches in the inside width, and then 25 inches from wheel to wheel. It has normal size wheels, removable side guards and handles, and a single foot plate. Thankfully, my chair is pink, as is my favorite color and features a lovely painted design made by my cousin on the left wheel. She's gonna do the right wheel over Christmas. So in my own experience, I haven't found dressing for a wheelchair to be very different from dressing for standing up, except for the fact that you are sitting down all the time. So while your top half remains mostly unaffected, what you wear on your legs will change by the fact that you're sitting down. So while a short skirt or short shorts might look good when you're standing up, when you sit down in a chair, they're going to go up by a few centimeters and might not always look as flattering as they do when you're standing up and walking. So I've found that long pants, a maxi skirt, or even a skirt that goes below your knees looks better in a chair because while it may go up a few centimeters, it won't ruin the effect that a long pants or maxi skirt has when you're standing up. And it also has the added benefit of making your body have a long line and making you still appear tall even though you're sitting down and are at a lower level than everyone else. So when I know that I'm going to be using my chair more than I'm going to be standing up and walking with crutches, I usually plan to wear a long maxi dress with a sweater or long pants with a nice top or even just a skirt that goes below my knees with some tights. Now moving on to accessories and more specifically bags and purses. Now using a wheelchair kind of takes away from your ability to sling things over your shoulder, put things over your back, or just hold things in your arms because you do need to push and you do need to be able to move your chair around without a bag flinging around. What I find works best is having a small backpack that isn't larger than the width of your chair so that things aren't hitting the sides or getting caught in your wheels. The only word of caution I would give when using a backpack is that it's easier for people to just open your backpack in the back and take things out. So what I would recommend is have a small crossbody, just a little pouch to keep your essentials like your phone, your ID, and small medication, things like that in the front so that you people can take it as easily. If you don't like using a backpack, I find that also a nice crossbody bag that you can keep in your lap works very effectively. You can even still use handheld purses or purses that you normally just keep on your shoulder or under your, on your elbow just so long as they have flat bottoms and can stay in your lap without the fear of them falling off or go moving back and forth in a way that hurts you. So moving on from bags to shoes, one benefit of sitting down all the time is that you can wear high heels without hurting your feet or your back. What I find works best is resting the edges of your heels off the end of your foot plate because if you rest the top of your heels or the bottom of your heels on your foot plate you're giving yourself bad posture and ruining the alignment of you between your wheels and the rest of your chair. I find that wearing high heels in a chair is very flattering, but it can be tiring if you need to constantly keep your feet off the edge of your foot plate. And if you don't have mobility in your legs, this can be difficult without something up behind your footrest to keep your legs in the proper position. So I also enjoy wearing flats or any sort of flat shoes or runners that are very comfortable that I can use if I do need to get up from my chair. Your feet have a lot of attention in your chair. People are, will often take a cursory glance of your legs and so your feet are on display on top of your foot plate. So I usually try to wear something that matches my outfit and that just is a cute shoe because people are going to see it more than they would if you're just walking around. Moving around in a chair requires the use of your arms and hands. So it makes it difficult to wear bracelets and rings a lot because they get in your way or they're really annoying when you're trying to push. 
I find that if I do want to wear a ring or a bracelet, I have to wear one that's small and that isn't large or wouldn't bother me if I was writing anyways. Or if I had to wear a bracelet, one I had to wear one that's tight to my wrist and that isn't jingling around or annoying me when I'm trying to move. Even though larger bracelets can be really cute, you'll probably hate yourself for trying to move with one of them. I find that if I do want to wear a bracelet that is larger or could be more annoying when I'm riding, I just keep it in my purse or my bag and then wear it when I'm not actively pushing. That way I don't have to sacrifice wearing my cute bracelets for pushing my chair. When you're in a chair, people have a tendency to look more at your chair than they do at you in your face. So I like to wear cute earrings, a cute necklace, maybe something cute in my hair so that people will be drawn to my face more than they are drawn to looking at my chair. Other than rings and bracelets, most likely when you're using a chair, you're going to be using some type of glove. Or if you're not, I would recommend doing so because it really prevents a lot of pain and blisters when you're trying to stop yourself from racing down a hill or going anywhere that you need to stop quickly. People often think that biker gloves are good enough, but in my experience, they just don't do enough. They don't have the right amount of traction because they're not meant for a chair. They're meant to prevent small scrapes and bruises if you fall off your bike or if you need to just prevent some sweaty palms from interfering with your grip on your handlebars. But when you're in a chair, you actually need a lot of traction because you're the only thing that's stopping yourself. For some people have brakes that can help add to your traction, but for the most part, you're going to be grabbing yourself and stopping yourself with your hands. And so, a tip that my friend told me was, if you have any type of bracelet, like a Livestrong bracelet, a Pride bracelet, anything, those, those um, plastic, rubber, stretchy band bracelets, if you can slip them over your hands, it doesn't work as well for me because my hands are too small, but if you have any size hand bigger than me or smaller than bracelet, if you slip them between the area of your thumb, and your index finger and just over your wrist and you can use them to they add a lot of traction when you're stopping they're just a bit of rubber that if you don't have gloves or you're waiting for gloves to come in these are a good tactic just to help you stop your chair without hurting your hands as much but personally I recommend investing in some good leather gloves they don't have to be the nicest leather or even an expensive leather but any sort of leather they can help add traction and they really help make it your ride easier and they prevent damage to your nails and your hands overall. I just got these gloves from Amazon for about $20 because they have little lace on them on one side and then leather on the other side so they can still be cute while still providing me the ability to have function with my wheels and work in a way that's effective and fun. Overall, however you dress, you should feel comfortable, confident and happy whether you're in or out of your wheelchair. Being a wheelchair user, whether you use it for chronic illness or mobility issues or a combination of the two like me, people will often take more notice of your wheelchair than they do of you. But dressing in a wheelchair shouldn't be focused on simply drawing people's attention towards you, rather just a way to express yourself, maybe feel closer to your faith and be happy with how you look and present yourself to the world every day. When you're disabled, it's easy for people to overlook you as a person. But I find that breaking down barriers of fashion and disability is a simple way of humanizing who we are and making people realize that we are more than just our mobility devices, our illnesses, and our disabilities and abilities. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the video, if there's anything else you'd like to see me make or talk about. A special thanks to my friend Angeline, who made the banner on my channel, who edited this video, and who is amazing at doing AMVs and a bunch of cool stuff. Please go check her out. Her info is in the description box below, or maybe I'm going to put a link, I don't know. Uh, I hope you all have an amazing day. Thanks again. May peace be upon you all, and keep on breathing.